Five, four, three, two, one. First and foremost, we had a beautiful day, so it uh, makes everything much nicer. And um, you know, bringing everyone together for a great cause for cancer research uh, for children is wonderful. Uh, Dr. Cairo does a great job. And PCRF is, is a wonderful organization. Um, you know, cancer affects everybody at some point. You know, I lost both my parents to cancer. My brother's battling cancer right now. Um, so it's it's one disease I hate, and I would do anything to get rid of it. So um, to bring people together. Uh, for a common cause and, and do it here uh, with Coach Konasek and Mr. Kaiser in tennis is very special. These are the things that you never read about our kids. But so many of our kids, especially here at St. John's, do a tremendous job of helping other people, giving of themselves. And when you do that, you really do things for yourself. I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud that they take the time, the effort, and I think it's going to be really something that they'll always remember especially when we think about those youngsters. It's a great thing to do, you know. Um, personally, I lost my sister for cancer, so I'm very familiar with that. And uh, I think it's a great thing. It's a great opportunity for us to talk about the situation and uh, hopefully help a little bit. It's really important because, you know, every day you wake up, you just got to be thankful for, you know, being alive and being healthy. For, for all the people that are struggling right now, you know, it's just, our job to make them feel comfortable, you know, everything's going to go well, just believe it, you know, and then everything should be fine. We all have a duty to do good. And this is what our uh, men's and women's basketball teams are doing today. They're not just worrying about themselves, and they're also doing a duty to do good for others. I always like coming here. It's a great experience to meet new people and just getting together with all the sports teams and the dance team and the cheerleading team shows that we have a great program here. It means a lot. It just shows that um, we could come together as a unit. Uh, we could come together as a university and, you know, we can pull together for a good cause. You know, it, it means a lot to come out here and give back to the community. Coming from, from the program at the University of Pittsburgh, we did a, my head coach, his sister was dealing with the same thing. So, I mean, I, I know what it's about. I know how important it is. And as a team, we feel like it's a good thing to come out here and give back to the community, give back to the fans. And it means a lot to us, just as it do to everyone else. Well, we like to give in every way we can. I've been doing this now for close to 40 years. Uh, and we, we want to give back uh, in terms of taking care of patients and doing research. And we also want to give something back personally. And I was fortunate this year that the legendary champions, which was dedicated to children who had passed with this disease, ended up being the largest fundraiser at today's event. As you heard today, we raised over $100,000, which eclipsed most of the other, all the other events that we've had. And it's gonna have a great impact. It has impact on the St. John's community, on children and families' lives who have been stricken with this unfortunate disease. I was a freshman in college, um, and I came home and we just knew that something wasn't right. So we scheduled the doctor's appointment and it turned out that some of my blood counts were low and then it all went from there. So from that first night I got diagnosed um, and then I kind of fell into Dr. Cairo's hands and I was actually his first patient up at Westchester Medical. Um, and then from there because of the wonderful work that Dr. Cairo did for me and my family and giving me a second chance, you know, we support the cause uh, wholeheartedly and we give 100% of our effort towards this great cause and towards the work that Dr. Cairo does. The whole family, from their patient John Capalbo, who four years ago was diagnosed with a very serious lymphoma with a very difficult uh, path ahead of him. Uh, and then there's his sister, Rosanna Capalbo, who has helped engineer all of these events, who was his bone marrow donor, and then his parents and his two other sisters. They have been completely involved from the first day that John was diagnosed. He's now, knock on wood, four years out, and they're just a wonderful family that is wants to give back again. They've seen what can happen with their son, John, and now they want that to happen to other patients. Um, I see a school that truly believes in this cause and what Dr. Cairo has built, um, and I see a school that is willing to put forth all their efforts into curing these horrible diseases. 
you know, I can't tell you how thankful I am and the families of all those who have been affected are um, by the effort that St. John's puts forth, you know, by doing this event every year, by representing us at the games every year. So, uh, I mean, my heart, and I, I'm sure I could speak for all the families that have been affected by this, you know, we really appreciate deep down what St. John's has done, and we're happy to have them representing our cause.